Hey guys, how's it going? This is Nick. Just wanted to show you the new project I've been working on recently. Uh, what it is is a, another Nintendo 64 portable. And my goal for this project was to just make it a lot more smaller and more overall portable than my last version. Uh, so yeah, in this video I just wanted to give you guys a walk around of the system and then show you some games playing on it. So let's get right into it. I uh, went ahead and went with a 3.5 inch LCD, um, again with the system, and I designed the case in a way that um, it would be raised from the rest of the unit, so that it would be you know more in your face and you can just see your game better. Um, the case was 3D printed using a uh, U-print with blue filament, and you see there's a original Nintendo 64 button, so all the color combinations are all there, and I think that uh, really adds to the overall look of the system, it makes it look a lot nicer. Uh, it has all the controls that you'd see on an N64 controller. You've got your C buttons all individually uh, act accessible here. You got your B and then A. You got your start, you got your D-pad, and this is a real analog stick. Um, so what I used was a third party N64 controller that had a analog stick built in um, versus the original Nintendo 64 joystick. So I was able to just uh, hook up my own analog stick directly to that, just splice it together and it works perfectly. All right, uh, so we got two little grills here. One's for ventilation over here and the other one lets um, the speaker, uh, some noise from the speaker come out. And on the very front of the unit, uh, this is a switch for the first player controller. So when you um, switch it to the left, it disables the integrated controller. When you switch it to the right, it turns it on. And I'll explain what this is for in a minute. This is the charging jack. Uh, so this is the charger right here. And it has a little LED indicator. So it's green when it's not plugged in and it turns red when it is plugged in like that and it takes about five four or five hours to charge fully and the battery I have uh, two 3.7 volt uh, 2500 milliamp hour uh, lithium polymer cells in series uh, so that uh, that gets it about two to three hours of battery life on a single charge again coming to the front of the unit there's a headphone jack here this is a volume control. There is an integrated audio amp that I built using a LM386. And it uh, has a volume control dial. This is potentiometer right here. Uh, headphone jack, like I said, and this is for the breakout box. So, which is this guy right here. It's just a uh, little eight pin connector that I rigged up and that just connects in there. And I'll show that when we uh, do some gameplay. And yeah, coming to the back of the unit, um, you'll see that there are two little grips here and then there's more buttons. So there's two tack switches on either side, the ones on the outer. So this is R and this is L. So when you're holding it like this, that's R and that's L. And then the ones that are raised a little bit higher are Z. So this is a dual Z button on either side. And you have your uh, cartridge connector up here. So your cartridge goes in the back like so. It's a very snug fit, doesn't wobble or anything. And I also implemented a, a little cartridge cover just to uh, hide that away in the design. And yeah, I think that's about it. Um, so let's get into some gameplay. So this does have an integrated expansion pack. So we can show off uh, Majora's Max just to prove that it does have the expansion pack inside. Let's go ahead and plug that in. See if boots up, no problem. And that's the integrated uh, speaker there. So what I used was a uh, little piezo PC speaker. Um, so the audio, it's it's mono out, uh, but the headphone jack is stereo. But the um, the speaker is mono, so it's not very good quality. <clears throat> So you can see all directions. We got a full range of motion with the analog stick. And just to prove it's analog, you can go a little bit and you'll be moving slowly like that. So he's walking now and then full speed. 
so that looks great. Uh, all the buttons, the arrow. And then start. You can see the D-pad's working as well. Yeah, so everything's working. Alright. Let's go ahead and try another game that uses the expansion pack. Which is Donkey Kong 64. the volume control so that's full blast and we can turn it down until we go all the way so it's pretty much not making any noise at all turn it back up So yeah, I just wanted to show that's working too. And last game I'm gonna show off is Mario Party 2, just so I can show the multiplayer features with the breakout box. So let me go ahead and uh, plug in the breakout box right here. Oh, also uh, I forgot to mention that the breakout box does have a uh, video out, so you can connect it to your TV. So just to prove that this works, I'm gonna, uh, you can see that integrated controller is working. Turn it off with the switch on the front and you can see it's no longer working. So I have this external controller. And if I plug this into the first player port, in the breakout box, you can see that this controller works for first player now. And obviously this will work for all the other players as well, so you can play up to four players with external controllers. And you can also plug it into your external TV. So yeah, that's about it guys. Uh, that's my portable, new portable Nintendo 64. Um, I'm very happy with the form factor and how it came out overall. So let me know what you guys think and uh, thank you for watching.